This is the new 2021 Harley Davidson Street Bob 114 and we've been riding it around all morning and we're going to tell you exactly what it's like. Now the Street Bob 114 starts at £13,995 in the UK. That's in this black colour with the orange graphics on it. You've also got three other colours which is white, Baja orange and green and they come in at 14345 Now the difference with the new Street Bob is it has the 114 cubic inch engine whereas the outgoing model had the 107. And you can feel the difference, this is more torquey and it pulls like a freight train, it really does. Uh, but at low RPM you've got all that grunt and all that torque which is what Harley Davidson's are all about. And I just love this 114 cubic inch torquey engine, it's phenomenal, it really is. And um, that's the main difference between this and the old bike and otherwise the handling's the same, it's very manoeuvrable, it's very responsive. Um, it's a nice bike to ride, you can carve up the turns if you want to. Um, it's very good in traffic, in and out, and lane filtering and that sort of thing, it's very good. Um, but this engine is just superb and the gears are less clunky than a lot of the Harley Davidsons that I've ridden, so I don't know if they've changed anything or whether it's just this one, but it seems much more slick. Now the seat height on the Street Bob is 680 millimetres, um, but it's a bit hard to get on with this um, sissy bar on the back, so you have to go through the middle. Um, but I'm six foot two, no I'm not, I'm six foot one, and this feels absolutely perfect for someone of my height. Um, I wouldn't want to go for forward controls unless you're a little bit taller, um, and if you are shorter, you'll be absolutely fine on this bike as well. Um, it is kind of geared up so if you were a bit shorter and you can't reach the bars you could bring them back a bit if you're a bit taller you could put them forwards a bit um, or there's many many other bar options which you can get for the harley so pretty much any height you'll be fine now we've been very kindly lent this bike today by sycamore harley davidson in uppingham in rutland in the center of england and they're one of the first dealerships to get one of these lovely bikes so get down there quick because these are going to sell like hotcakes I can tell you um, this one's got the sissy bar uh, which uh, is kind of nice if you're a passenger on the back it's brilliant it gives you all that sort of security and safety you've got to watch not kicking it as you get on and off um, other than that it's uh, a nice thing to have if you've got a passenger for sure now the Street Bob 114 weighs 297 kilograms which is exactly the same as what the 107 weighed. Um, so there's no difference there. And it also has a 13.2 litre fuel tank, which is the same. And the fuel economy of 43 miles per gallon is also same between the two different engines. The Street Bob is a wonderful bike to ride, it really is. It's one of my favourite Harley Davidsons, especially with this engine now. It really has brought it up a level. Uh, it's super cool, I mean it really is the bee's nuts and you do look cool on it. You look at yourself in the reflections of the shops and think, oh doesn't it look good. Um, it obviously sounds subdued with the standard stock pipes and we'll go into that in a minute. Um, the brakes are not brilliant, uh, it's a safety feature, you don't want brakes that are too good because it makes you go too fast. Uh, the back brake isn't particularly good, the front brake is better, obviously with the two together it's perfectly good. But when you look at this bike when you're riding along, the chrome in the wheels there looks fantastic and the shiny bits. Um, it is a cool bike, it really is, and I do love the Street Bob. 
Now the 114 that's in the street bob produces 155 newton meters of torque. That's at 3,250 RPM and it produces 86 horsepower at 5,020 RPM. Now the street bob only comes in the 114 engine now. So if you want the 107, you're gonna to have to go for the soft tail standard, which is literally exactly the same bike. Um, the only difference really is obviously the engine and the wrinkle paint finish that they do, the wrinkle black on the bars and around the rest of the bike um, is chrome. So if you prefer a bit more chrome and you want the 107, go for the soft tail standard. And if you want that 114, um, you wanna pay the bit extra, go for this. Um, now, from my point of view, I want one of these. Um, but I'm gonna be doing my A2 license um, in a couple of months, so there'll be lots of uh, videos throughout the process of that. Um, and I think I'm probably gonna go with the soft tail standard, or if I can find a secondhand Street Bob 107, probably one of those, um, just because it probably wouldn't be as compatible with the A2 license, even though you can get it restricted onto that license. Now the riding position is really nice. I'm six foot two. There's plenty of space, especially with the arms. Um, your legs are bent just over 90 degrees, where, where if you're as tall as me, they are. Um, but it looks cooler having your feet in the middle than it does with forward controls. So it's uh, also, it's probably better for the handling because you're more in the center of the gravity. So uh, no faults with the riding position. If you're bigger than six foot two, maybe you want the forward controls, um, which you can get as a, an accessory. Um, other than that, I think they're perfectly fine. Now, at the moment, there is a slight problem with all the new Harley-Davidson models, and that is to do with the European regulations. Um, so, as many cars have had to do for a couple of years now, um, they have to have extra uh, CO2 sensors in the exhaust, um, which obviously makes it sound a little bit quieter stock. Um, and it is a bit of an extra problem towards customising it at the moment. And also they've changed the ECU and they've changed the actual physical cable. So um, you can't actually, a stage one, upgrade the bikes at the moment, um, but I'm sure they will be sorting that out soon. Well, I know they will be sorting that out soon. Um, so if you do want one of these and you think, oh, I don't want to get it because I can't stage one it, don't let that put you off because that will be sorted um, in the near future. The wheelbase on this is 1,630 millimetres. The rake is 30 degrees. The trail is 157 millimetres. Those dimensions give you phenomenal stability and all the Harleys are like that. But with the narrower front tyre you get on the street, Bob, that gives you uh, perhaps sharper cornering ability. So you really do get the best of both worlds with this motorbike. Now, one of the other differences between the Street Bob 114 and the Softail Standard is that the new Street Bob comes with this rear pillion pad and the rear passenger foot pegs as standard. So if you wanted to have a passenger on your Softail Standard or your previous Street Bob 107, you have to pay an extra couple of hundred quid to get that rear seat and the pegs as well. So that eliminates that factor for you. On this you've got adjustable rear suspension not at the front um, and the ride is very good it takes the bumps very well and by the way if you're enjoying the video don't forget to give us a like and a comment um, but yeah this Harley Davidson doesn't it look cool I mean it really is a nice looking bike I must say and this little uh, air filter cover comes off it's just for the um, wet weather when it's not wet you should take it off and um, it breathes better. We think the Street Bob 114 um, is just the best value for money you can get out of a Harley Davidson um, in the 114 form factor. It really is really good value for money. And it's probably the, in my opinion, the best looking Harley Davidson in the whole range. It looks badass. And um, 
yeah, you can't really go wrong with it. So if you like this bike, um, go and get it. <laughs> it really is that good. Um, now, if you're wondering what this is like compared to the Softail standard, we will be doing a separate review of that bike in the very near future. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't miss out on our future videos. Now today is going to be a quick visit to this street bob but we are going to be doing a longer review on this in a month or so's time so please stay tuned for that. Now if you enjoy watching our channel and you like our videos um, it really help us out if you check out our t-shirt store um, it really helps support the channel there's plenty of designs on there and you can see that in the carousel below. <laughs>